Welcome to the video guys. Today we are predicting Premier League Game Week 10 predictions. That is right guys, the games are coming round super super fast. We are literally 10 weeks in to the Premier League season and man, what a season it is turning out to be. If you like this video guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not ready there, without further ado. By the way, your boy got one correct scoreline right in my last prediction video. That is right, I, I predicted West Ham to win to beat Wolves 2-0 and they did. So I got one correct score out of 10. So you know what? Your boy's happy with that. Let's just get straight in with today's prediction. Kicking us off with game week 10 is Bournemouth versus Leicester. Bournemouth are on a four, four game unbeaten streak right now. They drew at the weekend as well. So you know what? Four games unbeaten since sacking Scott Parker. So what? What an amazing turnaround for them. And Leicester, on the other hand, beat Nottingham Forest. We beat Nottingham Forest, man. That is right, guys. We beat Nottingham Forest 4 0. Local derby game. So what a win for Leicester. So, so this match could be a very good match. Both teams coming in with a bit of confidence. Leicester's first win of the season could prove vital to their season survival. So we should find out that gets on. But yeah, anyway, I do think Leicester will be too strong. By the way, can we just talk about how good Walt Fass is? Walt Fass, amazing 15 million pound signing for Leicester. Central defender, what a player, man. If you watched him, if you watched him against um, Ongan Forest, what, he looks, a, he looks a great player. Great signing for Leicester right there. Walt Fass, just to see how he gets signed in the Premier League. But so far, he's looking a very good player. So. But I do think Leicester will be too strong for Bournemouth, unfortunately. With Leicester's first win of the season, this could really push Leicester to further up the table. So, um, you know what? I'm going to go for a Leicester win. But not by much, though. I'm going to say a 2-1 win for Leicester City. Can we buy us all you want? I just got a feeling Leicester will win again this weekend. So that's right, guys. Leicester beat Bournemouth 2-1. Next game we have is Chelsea versus Wolves. Chelsea beat Palace 2-1 but a last minute goal by Aubameyang so good win for Chelsea right there and great win for Graham Potter um, but Wolves on the other hand lost again. Wolves have sat their manager Bruno Log. Eight games in to the Premier League season and he's the third manager sacked in the Premier League this season already so um, yeah I'll see why they did it. Uh, Wolves have had a not very good season already uh, you know they can't score goals they can't keep the goals out um, you know what I thought Wolves have signed some of the great players this season. I thought they might have a good chance of, you know, top 10 or whatever. But where they're performing right now, I just don't see them, you know, getting top 10. Um, but, but now they've sat the manager, get a new manager in. You know what? That could be a, a really good refreshment for them. By Wolves standards, not good enough. Chelsea beat, Chelsea beat Palace 2-1. Overall though, good result for Graham Potter and Chelsea because um, Palace are a tough team. Again guys, I do think Chelsea will beat Wolves. Um, I just can't see Wolves get anything um, out of this season. Um, manager being sacked, you know, that could really push him on to better things but we shall see how that plans out. But I think Chelsea will be too strong for Wolves. So that is right. So you know what? I'm going to predict an easy win for Chelsea. 2-0 win guys, that is right. Chelsea to win, Wolves 2-0. Next game we have is Man City versus Southampton. Man City beat Man United in the Manchester Derby 6-3. Foden and Haaland with two hat-tricks. Um, man, guys, will Haaland win the Ballon d'Or one day? Um, it, surely it has to happen. You know what? He is really lightning this season. Um, you know what? He has really demolished the goal scoring charts in the Premier League already. Holland has 14 goals in 8 games in the Premier League already man. He is only 8 goals away from last year's Golden Boot winner. <laughs> 8 games in guys, still 30 games left in the league and he's only 8 goals away from last season's Golden Boot winner. Man, surely Holland has to win the Ballon d'Or soon. He is lightning right now, you know what he... His confidence is so sky high. And so, if Holland scores in four more games in a row, then he's overtook Vardy's record of 11 consecutive games scored. So, um, yeah, man, Lightning, 
Holland right now is on fire and um, he scares me. He, 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 he scares me. So I'm to, on the other hand, lost 2-1 to Everton. Um, basically, man, they're going to be one winner in this game. Um, and I predicted this game to be an easy game for Manchester City. Just because of Haaland's confidence. You know what? De Bruyne, he, he looks a different level right now with Haaland in the team. So you know what? Guys, I'm going to predict a 4-0 win. That is right. A 4-0 win to Manchester City versus Southampton. Will we see Haaland with another hat-trick? You know what? If he gets another hat-trick, I am done. I'm not watching any more football. <laughs> he is far too good. But yeah, that is right, guys. 4-0 win. Man City versus Southampton. Next game we have is Newcastle versus Brentford. Newcastle beat Fulham 4-1 at the weekend, so very good result for them. Um, Brentford, on the other hand, drew to Bournemouth for 0-0. You know what? Good point for Brentford, but uh, I thought they might have beat Bournemouth. But yeah, either way, better than losing. Um, if you've not watched Amaron's goal yet from, from the weekend, Go back on YouTube right now and watch it. What a finish by Armagon, by the way. What a finish. Um, but yeah, Newcastle had Isak injured. So, um, but they had Callum Wilson and yes, he scored. And apparently, Callum Wilson is close to signing a new two-year deal at Newcastle to keep up the club for another two years. You know what? Fair point. You know what? Callum Wilson is a player that always gets injured. But every time he plays... He scores a few goals, so can't really complain about that. Um, Brentford are tenth in the table with ten points, so overall a good season for them already. So, um, but with Newcastle's win at the weekend, four one against Fulham, I think Newcastle will come out again this weekend and win another game. Um, so I'm going to predict a two 0 win for Newcastle versus Brentford. That is right, guys. Newcastle to win two 0 Next game we have is Brighton. Versus Spurs. So then, guys, not seen the red there. Brighton drew to Liverpool 3 0. Trossard with a hat trick. By the way, what a player Trossard is. You know what? He should be out of a different team to Brighton, but fair play for Brighton for keeping him. Um, how long for, though? Maybe keep Trossard for one more season? I don't know what's going to happen there, but, uh, but yeah, what a player Trossard is. He got, he got a hat trick against Liverpool. Um, so yeah, Brighton, man. For the only manager of Roberto da Serbe. What I watched them at the weekend, they look the same team as they did when Graham Potter were there. So I do keep taps on their scoreline because I do like Brighton. So see how their season plans out. But so far, they are fourth in the Premier League, guys. That is right, they are fourth in the Premier League already. Eight games in, fourth place, 14 points. What a season for them. Spurs, on the other hand, lost to Arsenal 3-1 and um, Spurs seem to have a bit of a habit right now of uh, sort of defending too deep. That is causing them some issues right now, defending too deep. Um, all their players are behind the ball every time they defend and it's, you know what, it's really causing them trouble right now. They always defend deep into their half. So it invites pressure for other teams and Arsenal exploited that. You know, Arsenal Arsenal looked for them gaps through the middle uh, and it worked out in the 1 3 1. So, um, just by form alone right now, I think that, I think that this will be a draw. I think it's going to be a 1 0 draw. That is right, guys. If I can get another point against Spurs, crazy season for them. But yeah, that is right. I, I, think, I think Brighton and Spurs will end as a 1 0 draw. Next game we have is Palace versus Leeds. Palace lost to an injury time winner to Chelsea with a Bamiyang at the weekend and lost 2-1. Leeds drew to Villa 0-0. I thought there'd be a few more goals in that game, but it ended 0-0, so um, good point for Leeds right there. Since we start the season, Palace will do well this season, but they're only above the relegation by two points. So, you know what? Not a great season for them so far. Um, I thought they would really push on this season, but um, they are near the bottom of the table and they could be in trouble, but say, so, still early days. But I, I thought I thought Palace would do a lot better than what they have done already. So um, not a great season for Palace at all, uh, considering the start they had. Leeds, on the other hand, are twelfth in the Premier League with nine points. So you know what? Not a bad season for Leeds. Not a bad season. Nine points in eight games. Can't really complain about that. Um, I think this game will be full of goals. I said it last time. It ended 0-0. But you know what? I'm gonna stick with my guts. I said it's gonna be a loads of goals in this game. So that is why I'm gonna predict another draw. That is right, another draw between Palace versus Leeds, but a 2 all draw, guys, that is right. Palace and Leeds to draw, 2 all. Next 
game we have is West Ham versus Fulham. West Ham beat Wolves 2-0 at the weekend. That puts them 15th in the table with 7 points. So, by West Ham standards, not a great season for them so far. But um, I'm sure West Ham will get a fair up the table as the season goes on. Fulham, on the other hand, lost 4-1. To Newcastle. So, to be fair to them, though, they had one player sent off at the weekend, so that probably didn't help the scoreline either. But I think West Ham win again this weekend, but I think West Ham will beat Fulham 2 1. So, um, close game, but they'll just sneak in there. Next game we have is a big one Arsenal versus Liverpool. Arsenal beat Spurs 3-1 at the weekend and they are looking a completely different side of the season. Um, right now, I say to you guys right now that they are title contenders this season. Um, from last season, our test, has, our test last season was about to get sacked. But Arsenal board stuck with him and right now it has proven a good thing to do. Because um, but Arsenal are looking a completely different side. But I think the key to their success this season is Jesus gave a massive boost to all the players because what a player by the way Jesus is you know what a player so I think with Jesus coming to the team this season I think he has really given the whole team a boost um, but Liverpool on the other hand uh, are nowhere near good enough from last season they are nowhere near good enough um, they are shipping in too many goals um, scoring goals but shipping in too many. Liverpool this season are ninth in the Premier League with 10 points. So by Liverpool standards, not great at all. Um, so just on that point alone, I think Arsenal will win this game. Um, it'll be a close game again, but I think Arsenal will just sneak it in with a win. So, so that's right, only by one goal. So I'm going to say Arsenal to win 2-1. That is right, guys. Arsenal to win 2-1 against a uh, goal-leaked Liverpool. <laughs> game we have is Everton versus Manchester United. Everton beat Southampton 2-1 at the weekend. Man United lost to Man City by a lightning good Haaland 6-3. Everton right now are 11th place in the league with 10 points but a five game unbeaten streak. They have played, played five, won three, one, two. So from last season, this is a massive, massive turnaround for Everton this season. Uh, Lampard's finally, finally got them playing well. So um, you know what? I quite fancy Everton this season to finish in the top half. So we shall see how that season plans out. Guys, it's a long season right. It is a long season ahead for us right now. So 30 games still left to play. So, so many games left. So we'll see how that season plans out. But so far, Everton are looking a mile better than last season. So fair play to Lampard. I, I thought he was going to get sacked last season uh, due to poor results, but they've kept with him. And um, yeah, you know what, Lampard, I like Lampard, so fair play to Everton and him for doing better. United lost at the weekend 6 3 to Manchester City, but man, didn't they get torn apart first half to lose 4 0 at half time? Um, they got torn apart by Man City. De Bruyne, Haaland, Foden, everyone in that Man City team were miles better than the whole Man United team. Um, but somehow they pulled it back to 6-3. So nine goals in one game. Can't complain about a derby camera. That is a that's a brilliant scoreline for a derby match. So um, very entertaining stuff. I do believe that Everton's form will end this weekend. Uh, I can't see them beating Manchester United. But was, I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough one. I thought long and hard about this one, but I think United will come out this weekend and beat Everton 2-0. That is right, guys. Manchester United to beat Everton 2-0. Our last game of this weekend is Monday night, Nottingham Forest versus Aston Villa. Nottingham Forest right now um, got torn apart by Leicester. That is right guys, got torn apart by Leicester 4-0. Um, what was quite a sad at the end was uh, Steve Cooper was saying to the presenter, um, they've got too many players to work with basically and you know they're, they're trying to get everyone in, you know, they're trying to get everyone to fit in the team. He said it's taking longer than they thought, but um, we shall get there eventually. But 
that is not good enough in the Premier League. I'm sorry, but if you sign 22 players in the Premier League, then you are about to go down. It, it doesn't matter who you buy. 22 players in one season is a hell of a lot of players. To keep them all happy it is a big task. Um, but right now, Steve Cooper apparently is on the verge of being sacked. Um, but I think that's quite a harsh on Steve Cooper. Um, they've signed 22 players this season. I'm sorry, but it ain't going to work in one season. Um, I think right now they are realising that. I think they're realising that signing that many players is not always good. So see what their season plans out to be. But um, right now, it's not looking good for Nottingham Forest. Aston Villa, on the other hand, are 14th place with 8 points. Last three games, they have drawn 2-1-1. So, you know what? A better form than they have been recently. Villa have some amazing players in the team. I think this game will end as a draw. That is right. I think it's going to be a one all draw. Monday Night Football, a one all draw. So, you know what? A good point for both teams. But, um, we shall see how that plans out. But, yeah. That is right guys, Nottingham and Villa to draw one all. That is it then guys, that is my Game Week 10 Premier League predictions for this weekend. Some good games this weekend, so I'm excited for another weekend of football. It is nice to have football every week again and um, soon guys we are slowly coming up to the World Cup right now. We're only, four, I, think, I think it's 45, 46 days until the World Cup starts. Oh boy! Guys, there's some amazing content coming during the World Cup. So, um, a very exciting year for football, guys. Um, but, yeah, anyway, let me know down below in the comments if you agree with any of my predictions for this weekend. And the big topic is, will Haaland win the Ballon d'Or? Write that down in the comments. Surely it has to. But, anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I'm going to end this one right here. And I'll see you guys next week for a brand new video. Thank you for watching. Good, good. And... Good night. <laughs>